There are a couple of birthdays today that popped up, but this one, uh, if you're a fan of our show, you've heard John and I speak of the uh, hidden, the movie Hidden Figures a number of times. And so this person's name popped up today, August 26th, born today, August 26th in 1918, Katherine Johnson. And uh, she ju- she passed away just recently in 2020, in February 24. She was 101 years old. She's uh, an American mathematician whose calculations of orbital mechanics as a NASA employee were critical to the success of the first and subsequent U.S. crewed space flights. During her 35-year career at NASA and its predecessor, she earned a reputation for mastering complex manual calculations and helped pioneer the use of computers to perform the tasks. The space agency noted that her historical role as one of the first African-American women and women to work at it as a NASA scientist. And uh, so she, she also, her work included calculating the trajectories to launch and launch windows and emergency return paths for Project Mercury space flights, including those for astronauts Alan Shepard, the first American in space, John Glenn, the first American in orbit, and rendezvous pass for the Apollo lunar module and command module on flights to the moon. She also was essential in the beginning of the space shuttle program and to the uh, latest missions on Mars. So I, I just, um, I love that movie. And if, you, if you're if you looking for a very feel-good movie about somebody we probably never, or you never heard of, because I the certainly scenes. didn't growing up in history, it's a great movie. So, I just put up the pictures that you provided of her getting, I think it's a Presidential Medal of Honor. Yeah, she got that. So President Obama gave her that in 2015. And then in, at uh, the NASA, um, the... Um, what what would it be called? The um, well, she's down at the, the Johnson Space Center, or was Kennedy? Yes. That a building's named after the Katherine G. Johnson uh, Computational Research Facility, and I love its address: One Lindbergh Way. You know, for Charles Lindbergh, <laughs> who so everything's like kind of flight related. But I think it's a great birthday. You turned me on to Hidden Figures. We love the film, and um, you know, it's very Hollywood. But it also reminds you in some incredibly great scenes that these women made a huge difference. And the way they were treated, um, right. because they were black, even it just blows your mind. They're, they're, they're making these incredible contributions. Oh, and you have to use the, the colored bathroom. What? <laughs> it, it, you look back now and you're like, what is that, right? Yeah, and those were some pretty powerful scenes in the movie where she was she was constantly the the women, and it was called where they were housed. I, I don't think they showed this in the movie, but the rooms where the African American women were doing their work, and they were known as human computer computers or computers in skirts. But it was called colored computers. Was the, the sign computers, on the door? Yeah, and they made them run. I mean, there were scenes where she would be running across the. You know, she'd have to go to the restroom and be running across the parking lots, and uh, they asked her about that, which she felt about. The segregation. So it's true, right? That was a true oh, yeah. scene. Okay. Yeah, there was. She was. They, they said she was interviewed just recently on C-SPAN about it, and uh, right before she passed, and she said, "I was well aware of the fact that there was segregation, but having grown up in segregated America, we just took it for that's what it was." And so she said, "And we would all gather. We would eat together. You know, all the girls would eat together, lunch together, travel together, and so that." But they were all working for the common goal to get not it wasn't as as important as the engineers to get somebody into space. She said it was really about getting them home. Yeah. And their and their big job was yeah. getting, you know, her, her getting them home. And there's a great scene in the movie where I, I believe is it is it John Glenn where he's he doesn't necessarily trust because they're now they're using computers to get mm-hmm. all these these coordinates. He and calls he asks from the launch pad and says, get the girl to confirm right. these numbers. Right. Right, and that's that's a great scene where they actually get her to do it, and she does confirm that those are those are the numbers. She uh, she grew up in in West Virginia, and again, talk about the indignity to a certain extent. Um, they only allowed uh, public education for African Americans in the county she was in to the eighth grade. So her family her family had to move to another section or another county so that the kids could go for education beyond the eighth grade. And uh, she took every possible science class or uh, math class she could take. She ended up graduating from uh, from college with a degree in French and math. And uh, she was summa cum laude. She was an Alpha Kappa Alpha, which is the same as as Kamala um, Kamala Harris, who's running for VP. But um, 
she and she wanted to she had heard about only the only jobs really available were teaching jobs but uh, she was at a family gathering and somebody said you should really look at at uh, the space program and uh, at that time it was called the NACA you're probably f- more familiar yeah, with this yeah, than me the national aeronautics yeah right and they said that they were they were hiring um hiring women and also hiring hiring people of color so she ended up going there and having a wonderful career and really um, is an American icon and was her, the number of awards she got and she's received as just about any award you can imagine, um, from the country. But some of them came quite late. I was surprised. I mean, you would have thought maybe they would have come sooner, but it wasn't until 2015 and she was a, a 90, 96 years old that she got the, uh, the medal, medal of, of freedom. Yeah. Oh, medal of freedom. Sorry. Yeah. Right. So, but uh, happy birthday, Catherine Johnson born today, August 26th, 1918. She died February 24th, 2020 at 1.01, and she, uh, one of the last things she, she did encourage girls to get involved in STEM and get a seat at the table. 